Have you any concerns about Katana's new acquaintance? Countess Jade? Not in the least. I understand you have met Countess Jade. Is that important? Who will she be to me? Hey guys, what's up? Your boy Anz Blade back with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the two previous videos, I'm going to be discussing Countess Jade. So, for those who don't know, I'm going to make this really quick. Jade is a well-known Mortal Kombat character. She is the Green Ninja. She's normally paired alongside with Katana and Melina. Many people refer to him as the trio, which I also refer to him as the trio as well, the female trio anyways. And Jade made her first appearance as a secret boss fight in Mortal Kombat 2, and she made her playable debut in, I believe, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Anyways, Jade's a very popular character. While she hasn't been around every installment of Mortal Kombat, that will take away the fact that Jade is really, really popular. However, despite the little hints here and there, Jade did not make the base roster for Mortal Kombat 1, 2023 version, of course. While that was disappointing to many fans, including myself, I do like Jade, even though I don't play Mortal Kombat no more, I definitely do like Jade. The whole thing with Jade being mentioned by a couple of characters, Countess Jade, I remember the first time it was mentioned between Luke Kane and Katana when they matched up with each other during the um, beta, the close test beta that they did a while ago. And then as you see, Sindel and Tanya speak about her and also Garrus speaks about Jade to Katana as well. So this is my little theory. I'm not saying this is factual. Obviously, unlike the previous timeline, Jade and Katana were childhood friends. This time around, I seem like Jade is someone that Katana recently met. But based on a few interactions, Jade seems like she's going to be a very key figure in Katana's life. Like she always been. The only difference is, Jade is just now getting acquainted with Katana. Despite the fact that, you know, Jade probably existed for like 10,000 years, just like Katana, Melina, has Sindel's obviously older than that, and same thing with Lee May. Now my things with this with Jade. She's not in Mortal Kombat 1 as of now. She might come back come back in Season 2, Combat Pack 2, if you want to call it. Because also Combat Pack 1 is a testosterone fest, which is so dumb. I don't know how you have so many characters, but yet you make a Combat Pack, but nothing but men. But that's a topic for another time, and I really don't care about that. So, to me, it seems like they're building a J to be this really key figure in Katana's story. And the way she's being name-dropped... Similar to the way Melina was named dropped a lot in Mortal Kombat 11 before she finally did become a playable character. I do feel Jade will become playable in the near future. Do I know when? I would assume Mortal Kombat, Kombat, Pack, Mortal Kombat Pack 2. But I do feel Jade will become playable in the near future. I just have that feeling because I can't see them name dropping characters so many times. Because someone says it's been four times where Jade's been name dropped. I only know of three. But someone said this is four times she's been name dropped. With character intros. And. But my only thing is. Katana isn't. Empress. Melina's Empress right now. And it ended with Melina being the Empress. And I have some concerns. While I'm a Katana fan. I don't hate Melina. But I'm always been more team Katana. But I do know the reception of Melina not being a good guy. Is received very well. By the majority of the Mortal Kombat fandom. A few people are not really for it, but majority of the Mortal Kombat fans love that Melina is a, one of the good guys now. And I personally think it's a good change for her. I hate that King had to cost Katana, because Katana kind of got like, what you call it, kind of, not how long how to say this. Katana is usually more like a central character, and now she kind of takes like the backseat to Melina. Best way I could word it. She takes a backseat to Melina, and now some people, including myself, wasn't really feeling that, but it is what it is. But I do love this loving sisterly dynamic between the two. However, if Jade is this key character to Katana, what is Jade going to be key for Katana for? Because obviously, I don't see them being lovers. I don't think Netherworld Studios would do that. Not saying it's impossible, but I don't think that's going to be the thing. Because Melina and Tanya already are thinking. I don't, and Katana never gave me bisexual teeth. So, and that's that. Not, not knocking it, I'm just so anyone's aware. I just don't get that kind of vibe from Katana. So, my concern goes like this. 
I would think Netero Studios isn't going to change up anything concerning um, Molina. They'll keep it as a good guy. However, there's the little possibility of me thinking that they might be... They might end up doing something dumb. Like, Molina does go bad eventually. And Jay's got to help Katana deal with her. That's one scenario which I hope I'm wrong about because, you know, to me, it defeats the purpose of making Melina this central character to the story just to turn her into a, a typical waiting bitch as she's been in past incarnations. So I hope that's not it. But I really can't think what can Jay serve to Katana. Is she going to help Katana start and be a queen of a new realm? Is she going to aid Katana in a great battle? Because, you know, if they're making Jay's relationship with Katana like it's going to have a big payoff down the line. But let's Katana taking Melina's place as the Empress of Outworld. What can Jay be serving to Katana? Let alone what will be Jay's story when she does become playable in Mortal Kombat 1, if she does become playable. So it's just a lot of name drops of Jade. It's not like a crazy amount, but the name drop accounts as Jade. It feels very important. And despite how a lot of people feel about Netherrealm Studio storytelling, me included, I can't see them constantly dropping Jade's name and there's no payoff in the future. I feel at some point, Countess Jade is going to be playable and we're going to see her action. My thing is with Countess Jade, I do hope she has a good place out of this original to her, people will recognize her because a lot of people were disappointed with Tanya getting new weapons and Wake goes using like a staff and certain like and I believe only his like X-ray well fatal blow rather and his um one of his fatalities. But to me Wake doesn't play like Jay outside of using the staff and his fatal blow and fatality so I don't want to see a problem with it. However Tanya does use the staff. It's like it's like three piece staff, the link staff that you know Billy Khan uses in King of Fighters, but Tanya does use a staff. So be interesting how Jade is going to play if she, and hopefully when she's added to Mortal Kombat 1. But that's just my thoughts on, I might say Empress Jade, on Countess Jade. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. I do apologize for my little stuttering. Sometimes it takes me a, a little hard time uh, how I want to phrase something. But I hope you guys were able to understand me. Anyways, leave a like, comment. Hopefully subscribe, and thank you again for watching my video. I love you guys. Love you guys. Peace and take care. Honest Blade out.